Alright folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today we're crushing with straights again. Maybe. We just finished the magic deck here, picking up the gold sticker on Burglar, Cardomancer, Shortcut, and Four Fiendners. And so the next deck for us is going to be the Nebula deck. Nebula deck, you start with the Telescope, and then Telescope gives you your Celestial Packs guaranteed to have the planet card that you're looking for. So the question is, you know, what is the correct planet card, right, that we want to focus on? So you want to pick a poker hand that you can very reasonably, very consistently play often. And you want to pick a poker hand where the planet card is going to have high enough scaling, you know, big numbers, right? And so for me, the natural pick is Saturn cards plus 30 chips is already a lot. I think, you know, plus two molt is pretty good, but now buffed to plus three molt. So in theory here, let's try to go for straights. We'll see what it actually looks like in practice. All right, we could take a skip here for a Mega Arcana pack. I think I want to play out the first round rather than pick up the Arcana pack. The Arcana pack is high variance, right? So you can get some pretty cool stuff. You can get some pretty terrible stuff. And if I'm going for a straight speci specifically, I don't care about a lot of things. I don't care about any of the suit changes, for example. All right, here, eight, seven, six, five. That's not a winning straight, but I could just play us a straight. So let's go for uh, either a four or a nine. One more time looking for a four or a nine, just to get on the board here with a straight and then followed up with maybe a pair, maybe two pair. I want to avoid flushes because if we play a flush, if there's a tie, it'll count that as my most played hand for the purposes of the telescope. Winning there in two hands is completely reasonable. Now, okay, I have a celestial pack guaranteed to give me the Saturn card. I do need, you know, in the early game, I do need something else eventually. When we were on the magic deck, we were able to copy the straights, or we were able to copy the Saturn card and start at level 4, now only level 2. So for the Nebula deck, it's going to take longer for us to get off the ground. You know, maybe a coupon tag could be the kind of thing that helps us get off the ground. Yeah, let's try that. And then now here, a level 2 straight I think could work if we have high enough chips. So maybe if I discard like this, I can look for five and a six. That's not gonna be a winning hand. So I'm gonna discard like this instead. All right, seven, eight, 10, king here. Um, yeah, it's not great. Uh, let's look for a nine. So we do pick up eight, nine, 10 through six. Maybe that could be enough. Okay, yeah, barely. That's okay. And now we get the discount. We could pick up a square, um, a little bit counter to playing straights, but you know, we could get a little benefit from this. Pick up a Saturn card here. I think um, the zany joker is not something that's supported by what we're doing, so probably we just sell it for interest. Uh, square joker as an eternal, I don't feel great about. Fool to copy our Saturn card. All right, now I feel much safer. So I'm gonna pass on the square and just go next. We can take a Mega Buffoon. That's pretty big, that's worth it. In theory, worth it. Um, Hey, if you wanted to play Flushes, it's a pretty good build here. Uh, I'm gonna take the rebate. Uh, we get rebates on eights and something that I can sell. So between the two of these, um, I guess flushes and we'll just sell it. All right, we could take a skip here. This is a guaranteed Saturn card from the Mega Celestial Pack. Um, I'm going to take the chance on the shop. Shop only has a 50% chance of giving me a Celestial Pack, but if it does, it's much better. So... Right, because like you can skip for the guaranteed celestial pack, or you can just go two shops, and two shops will have, you know, a better chance of giving you a celestial pack. All right, I need to discard eights. If I discard eights, what 
flavor of straight am I gonna go for? Maybe we're gonna go for the low straight here, could be. I don't feel great about that to be honest. Cause this is the dead end straight where if you get the two or the four, you have the ace here, you're looking for the inside straight draw. It is not great. Maybe, you know, I'm throwing away eights anyway, so I have to decide between either the high ones or the low ones, right? So maybe what we do is we discard like this. And then at least with the nine here, I guess the nine doesn't really matter. Whatever. Maybe we just draw a full house, a full house which doesn't actually score that many points. So I'm just gonna throw it away. And we don't need the nine. We need a 10 and a queen. So this has the same kind of, you know, the upper straight here is not open-ended. I'm gonna play two pair, saving a discard for the rebate here on the eights. So here we go, we could get the rebate. Uh, we do, we could go for the four. Let's go for the four. Um, yeah, let's play the pair of tens looking for the four. Hmm. We can play something like this, still looking for a four. Um, that's high card once, okay. And we go eight, seven, six, five, four. That's already 1500 points with level four straight. All right, so we got a ton of money from the rebate, so it was worth the extra hands. All right, now I need to spend my money. I need something that I can spend it on. I, I don't need this. <laughs> Celestial packs are great. Uh, this was the big blind here because we took the mega buffoon skip here. Arcana pack looking for a fool. If I don't get a fool, maybe I can make a gold card. What kind of gold card? You want me to discard eights again? Man, discarding eights is so tough. That's the one card I don't want to discard. How about with the devil, I'll target a six. All right, do I want the seed money? Probably, it is a little bit awkward right now, but I think if we get the eights, you know, for the rebate here, we can make up the deficit. I think we do take the faceless joker. I think we have, you know, high enough level straights that we could definitely do this 2000. Um, temperance, I could just use for a dollar. I can hold on to it for a little bit longer. Hmm, seed money takes me down to $5. I don't feel great about. Oh well, we, we can make up the deficit. We could do some fancy discarding here. We could do some cheekiness here. All right, uh, here is basically a straight, just missing the 10 here, but I'm gonna discard it for the greed. I'm gonna discard it for the money. Um, I'm looking for a two. Maybe I could get a two. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, so how about this? Do I wanna play high card so that I can dig for another eight for the money? I'm just gonna play this straight. Um, I'm not gonna use the temperance yet. I'm gonna wait until I get another joker, which, you know, maybe doesn't happen right now. The next round is 3,000 points. Um, yeah. Holographic here is totally fine. Doesn't matter what it is, holographic, any holographic is fine. Temperance now eight bucks, sure. And save the rest of our money for interest. So now 3,000, no problem. Though the boss here, the wall is not great. Though getting the wall early is better than getting the wall late. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I want to discard nines, okay. So maybe, do I want to try to do this? Do I want to try to do the faces, Joker's shenanigans? It's greedy. It's definitely greedy. I'm just going to discard the face cards just to play it safe. We could get plenty of money from the rebate. All right, do I want to try to save a discard by playing four cards? Nah. Let's discard like this. Looking for three or a seven. 
All right, we are still looking for a three or a seven. Maybe we keep the eight looking for the seven or we keep it open-ended looking for a th Yeah, three or a seven or both possibly. If you throw more cards, you have a chance of getting both. So nine, eight, seven, six, five. There's my straight. $31. For the seed money, six dollars interest. All right, now what are we cooking? So we have money for. I need more sc scoring jokers. Is what I need. Maybe Mary Andy helps the extra discards for the rebate. Uh, that's pretty tempting. Though you know, getting the levels up from the space joker is like pretty powerful too. The minus one hand size got me a little bit concerned, to be honest. Huh. Plus three discards. Let's do it. Rather than pick up the spaceman, let's do it. All right, in that case, Arcana looking for a fool. Hangman helps. So what do we want to do? We want to get rid of the low cards probably. So a four and a two here, we can trim. Uh, we could get rid of an ace. Ace and a two we can remove. Yeah, how about that? All right, let's save the rest of our money for interest because we know we score enough points. Is that true? Do we score enough points? 4,000, maybe two straights. I forgot, I wasn't paying attention in the previous round. I don't actually know how many points. We do have the kings on the rebate here. I'm looking for either a nine or a five. And so if I keep something like this, I'm only redrawing two at a time to get either the nine or the five is not great. That's not what you wanna be doing. So I'm gonna discard the full four here. All right, we did pick up the five. So let's try to find a nine or a four. One more time, more money on the rebate here. All right, this straight doesn't win, question mark. Okay, but how do I beat the wall? How do I get 12,000? I mean, 12,000 I could do three straights is not reasonable, I can't do three straights. Maybe if I take the celestial pack here and get the upgrade, I can play two straights. Maybe if I take the smiley face, eternal I don't feel great about. What about the Jumbo Arcana pack? So we could just pick up the money here, giving me, you know, maybe surplus, I could go shop re-rolls. Give me some other, give me a better scoring option, the option that's not eternal. Mm, throwback, this will get the job done, for sure. All right, now, rebate on threes. All right, we throw away the ace here, looking for a 10 or a king. All right, so throw away a three for the rebate. Um, queen, jack, 10, nine, still looking for uh, either an eight or a king. Hmm, getting awkward. Hmm. King or let's save one of our discards. All right, King here. We do have a decent number of clubs, but obviously this is not a winning hand. Wait a second. That's illegal. How do we score so many points? Did the extra clubs really make that difference? <laughs> Interesting. All right, uh, ooh, extra discard at Drunkard instead of Faceless. Maybe that's worth three bucks, you know, rental fee. Mm. Let's go Priestess. Oh yeah, we're playing on the Nebula deck so we only have the one uh, card slot up here. So Priestess is not great value. Let's go Buffoon Pack. What can we get here? Uh, we could pick up an egg, we could pick up, uh, these are not great here, rental, shoot the moon we don't need, uh, eternal fist we don't need, Steven, 
probably not. Maybe instead of Faces Joker, at least we can swap it out for an egg here, but I might be tempted to pick up the Drunkard. In the next round here, we have a Mega Celestial. We have Orbital on two pair. I am thinking about, you know, for the throwback, skips are not great value, but there could be some skips that are worth it if we do get the extra Molt on the throwback. Though the throwback is, you know, possibly replaceable. 8,000 we know we can do. One straight is gonna be 8,000. I think we don't need the extra discard if we already had the extra discards from Andy. And so maybe, let's look for a blue seal here. <laughs> uh, skip, go next. All right, the boss is going to de-level our poker hand. I think we can get uh, our straights up high enough to where that won't bother us. You want me to discard nines? Yeah, no problem. Uh, we pick up a six here. All right, so there's my straight. If I want, I can actually play it and keep the six for the money. How many nines I got left? Three nines left? Yeah, we should just ship it. All right, one more round on our glutinous joker. All right, do I want a... Definitely want the Celestial Pack for the Saturn cards. Um, here we could go Buffoon Pack. Buffoon Pack for Devious Joker. Devious Joker. Um, so currently this Glutinous Joker, the plus 10 from the Holographic and, you know, maybe plus 6 from Clubs is representing, you know, slightly less than a times 2. You know, maybe a times uh, 1.7 is what this does for us. Whereas, you know, this would be 50% more chips if I get 100 chips on top of 200. So this is not great, but it's not nothing. And so maybe, you know, do I want to drop Andy now? Do I want to drop the rebate now? Uh, the rebate's just too powerful. Maybe we're late enough in the game where we don't need the money as much. You know, we get the money from the seed money. So we want the you know, the scoring help, even if it's just a little bit of scoring help. Maybe we're supposed to get rid of the egg since this is like a pretty powerful combo, rebate plus Andy. Let's get rid of the egg. All right, uh, we do have reroll money. Do I want a stencil? I could, picking up the stencil, sell everything else. Basically, <laughs> uh, it is perishable. So I think we're gonna have to pass on the perishable stencil. Um, more perishables here, so I'm gonna reroll one more time. You know, more perishables. Any non-perishable would be great. Uh, Michelle, maybe. So now we can get rid of the glutinous joker. We can use the judgment, sell the walkie-talkie and pick up Michelle here and go next. All right, it's, it's been a minute, Michelle. Welcome to the team. All right, how about this? Let's go discard nines. I must obey. <laughs> yeah, we could get the uh, the low straight here, just like that. Um, with Michelle and now the extra chips here and throwback, we should be able to one shot. We should now level seven straights. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just keep discarding. Looking for the nines. Maybe, maybe we play uh, two cards here, play high card here. Nah, all right, here's my straight. 18,000, that should be enough for the boss even after the D level, as long as Michelle keeps hanging out with us. All right, we could go Celestial Pack here. All right, so I've said this about the wheels. Uh, you know, if you you have a one in four chance to get a black hole, that's how I think about it. One in four chance to get a black hole. Um, ship it. Uh, that's okay. We could take a mega buffoon here. 
Uh, more perishables. I think perishables we don't need. I think, uh, do I want blue joker instead of this devious joker? No. Do I want to pick this up anyway? Like as a perishable, this is not terrible. Yeah, maybe what we'll do is we'll go pick up the blue joker just to sell it and then pick up the baseball card here for the X mold. Another Saturn card in the shop. Love to see it. All right, save our money for the seed money. All right, we need to discard threes. We need to find a nine. Or we can discard more aggressively like this. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we found the nine. Let's go for a six or a 10. All right, six or a 10. So still six or a 10. So we got the six, now looking for a 10 or a five. So we got five possible outs. I'm going to start playing hands instead of discarding. Save the discard for the rebate. Could get a rebate on another three, it says. We can play high card a couple times because we already have nine straights for our telescope. Uh, okay, we do pick up the straight here, so ship it. We do get the D level, but that's okay. All right, Michelle is gone now. That's okay. As long as we get more Saturn cards, we'll be fine. All right, how about we'll go Celestial Pack for more Saturn because of the telescope. Um, Riff Raff we don't want. I want any uncommon Joker would be decent. Uh, Blue Seal would be great. Let's re-roll. Uncommon Midas Mask. I mean, that could work. Yeah, let's give that a try. Uh, strength card. What can I do with a strength card? I can turn tens into jacks. I can try to ooh, turn my low cards into higher cards. It's not going to be super impactful, so I'm just going to skip on the strength card. Maybe I could use it to turn fives into sixes and get the rebate money. But I think that's kind of like short-term greed for not much long-term benefit. I think here we don't want the... We could get the guaranteed uncommon. Nah, that's okay. We get plenty of value from, like I said, celestial packs in the shop and then also rebate discarding here sixes. I want to try to play my face cards for the Midas Mask, so maybe discard like this. All right, there we go. Uh, let's just find a 10. Yeah, what do you think? You got a 10? Oh, this is uh, this is the updated Midas Mask. The face cards have to score. When you score a face card, then it becomes gold. So if I play here the pair of queens and the jack, the jack will not score, the jack will not turn into gold, which is kind of fine. Yeah, let's do it. Play the pair. So we've got two pairs that we've played. Not two pair, but two pairs. All right, well, here we've got this. E the straight is enough points, right? So let's just discard looking for, maybe I could play the king here to get the upgrade. Sure. All right, discard the 10. All right, I can play another jack here to get the upgrade. And then we'll play the last straight here. Uh, wait a second, discard. Ah, that's a seven, not a six. All right, ship it. 45,000 is enough for the boss here though. All right, we got three more rounds on the baseball card. Sorry, what is this boss? Oh, the money, that's okay, we got plenty of money. Uh, we can pick up a spectral pack here. Ectoplasm, hmm. Minus one hand size is really tough in our current situation. So I think I'm gonna pick up the red seal instead. Let's make a red gold card for the money. And open a standard pack looking for the blue seal. 
Um, I'm not interested in this. I'm not interested in the Red Seal King. So I'm just going to skip here. I'm looking for another uncommon. I mean, ramen is valid. That's an uncommon. Maybe I can replace the Midas mask. I mean, it's perishable anyway. Not that the ramen isn't perishable. All right. I could skip more and then skipping more would keep the baseball card alive longer, but I don't think that's necessary. If I just play this straight, maybe we don't discard. We preserve the ramen here. And so maybe now uh, Mary Andy I should get rid of. Hmm. Steel card, maybe. Buffoon pack. Astronomer giving me a discount on Celestial Packs. Also giving me plus 10 molt if we need it. Yeah, let's, you know, instead of this rebate, let's pick up the Astronomer now. You know, since I have incentive not to discard because of the ramen here. Pick up a Chariot here, open the Arcana Pack. All right, Fool will copy a Saturn card or I can make a Steel card. And then copy it with the Fool and get two Steel cards. I'd rather have the Saturn card, to be honest. That way I don't have to worry about drawing the Steel. Alright, uh, let's just go next. Alright, so... What kind of straight can we go for? We could go for the... Middle straight here, looking for a 5 and a 6. Do I want to play the pair? Probably not, because it's going to cost me money. Ooh, but that stings with the ramen there. That hurts. Hurts my hands. Hurts my soul. Alright, 6 here. We can go for a 5. Or should we stay open-ended? Let's stay open-ended here. Alright, we do pick up the 5. Now let's look for another 6 or an Ace. So we have 6 possible draws. We do pick up the ace. All right, that's good enough for me. Uh, baseball card doing a lot of work here, about to leave us. That's not good. I mean, it's probably fine, but it's not great. All right, Arcana Pack looking for a fool. If we don't get a fool, we could use a judgment card, judgment card to replace the baseball card. I'm gonna go Emperor here. Uh, Magician is fine. Let's go spin the wheel. Foil Ramen. I don't hate that. Uh, we do have the boss reroll here. What kind of boss? Play only one hand with Mary Andy. I think we can make that a reality. Uh, I don't want to skip for rare, so I'm just gonna go next. What I want is. More Celestial Packs. It's been a while since we hit a Celestial Pack. Uh, what kind of straight can we go for? We can go for the upper straight if we do this. We got the Jack and Queen together. Uh, we got some sevens here looking for a nine and king. Ooh, uh, doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great the ramen there. Um, but we can do Jack and 10 here as lucky cards. And then play the straight. Alright, so, you know, with four uncommons, baseball card was a times five. So we currently have 40,000, is not 50,000. We need 50,000 to beat this boss. I think we need a glass card to beat this boss. So let's sell the baseball card and look for some glass. We could consider re-rolling the boss. Um, we could take 15 bucks here or a random joker. Let's take the money rather than the lucky card. Standard pack uh, looking for, I don't know. Foil is fine. Purple seal is okay. Maybe it's a little bit late for purple seal though we do have Andy here. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe on the purple seal. Ah, uh, it feels bad. I'm gonna skip here. We're in anti-6, so I don't want to add too many more cards to the deck, like in general. I do take the uh, boss reroll here, but I'm not necessarily going to use it right away. Let's see if we can find... What else can we score with? Swash Bonkler gives me a little bit of help, but not necessarily a lot. The now Devious Joker demonstrating when we have the higher level poker hands, now level 10, 300 chips. Now this 100 chips is only times 1.3, which is pretty terrible. Uh, Swashbuckler is a little bit better, you know, out of 31 here, out of 40 here, slightly more, or slightly less than 40%. I mean, we just take one of these just because, just to have it, right? Golden Ticket. I mean, Golden Ticket is pretty good, you know, with all these gold cards, but I really just need scoring. Misprint is not it. Smiley face is better. So this could be like 15 molt. Swashbunkler already does that. Popcorn here. Um, Hiker, no. Uh, we do get free planet cards though. I'm not sure if there was another one in the shop and I just like wasn't paying attention, but uh, yeah, let's go next. So here, this is going to be two hands to get 75,000, two straights. I mean, we could do it, but let's see here. How about let's start by going for the middle straight here. So 10, 9, 7, looking for an 8. Looking for an 8 like this. So 7, 6. Yeah, if we discard like this, looking for an 8. Okay, that doesn't feel great, but we we did get it, technically. There's A straight. Alright, one more of those. Maybe technically that is enough to beat the boss. We need a queen. Alright, we have some chances to get the queen. Is there a better straight that we can go for? Is it safer if we throw these away, if we throw away five? If we throw away five, we would need the nine, which is not great. So I think we just go for the queen. Do I want to play the pair? Ah, discard. All right, one more time looking for the queen. Again. So queen, jack, 10, ace, king. Ship it. All right, I really need more celestial packs. It's been a while since we hit the celestial pack. Or at least it, I don't know if that's true, but it feels like it's been a while. Let's find some more x mult here. Um, Constellation is what the doctor ordered, that's me. Um, yeah, can we level this up enough quickly? I think the answer is yes. So let's... Astronomer is perishable. So I'm going to get rid of this. It is five bucks. No, we'll get rid of that. We'll pick up the constellation here. I think constellation is going to save us. We could use the earth guard here. All right. Steel card? Does a steel card help? What do I want? Steel? Some middle card here, maybe an eight. All right, let's look for some planets. Uh, temperance helps. Judgment to replace the swashbuckler. Nah. All right, buy one planet. So here with only the one uh, consumable slot, instead of having the three consumable slots of the crystal ball, it's harder for us to block duplicates, duplicate planet cards in the shop. To the moon, uh, would love to have that for the money, but I don't think we can afford it. Score wise, I don't think we can afford it. Um, Bean helps, Bean to help us find our hand, maybe Bean instead of Andy. 
instead of the plus three discards. Then we don't have to discard for the ramen as much. Yeah, probably we do that. It, okay. Where are my planet cards? Um, do I want a stencil? Because I can go... I can sell Swashbunkler, I can sell the, the bean, and I can pick up the stencil, and that, that'll be a times two. Um, but then I only have two discards, which is not great. Oh wait, we shouldn't have gotten rid of the Andy. No, maybe with the bean it'll be fine. All right, let's take the Neptune card here. Let's use the Mercury card here. There, extra 30%, that should be enough scoring. So let's go next. All right, we only got two discards, but we only need one straight. So there's a straight already. Is there a version of this where I can get the money? If... Maybe, I, maybe I'm not supposed to discard because of the ramen. Maybe we're not supposed to get the money. That's probably correct, though it do feel bad. All right, ship it. Barely got there. That's okay. Temperance? And... Now do I want the clearance sale? Yeah. I can get the discounted planet cards. Yeah. Go next. Ooh, Swashbunkler is going to be weaker now. Do I want to skip for a Mega Buffoon pack? Pro pro probably. Hmm. Mega Buffoon? I don't know. 135,000. I'm a little bit spooked by that. So let's go next. Here, five, six, seven, eight. Let's look for either a nine or a four like this all right so nine eight seven six five we're gonna get a ton of money here from the gold cards yeah it's gonna take more than that so here let's play another straight yeah 135,000 I don't think we have it yet we can get there. We can get there with the Constellation. But we're not there yet. Pick up Saturn. Okay. Um, I need another, instead of Swash, Bunkler. Something real. Um, Devious Joker is not it. Clown for the rerolls. Um, yeah, maybe now that I have level, or I have 34 Molt here, maybe we don't need the Swash, Bunkler. And I can pick up the clown. So let's pick up the clown here. Let's buy and use planets and go for the free reroll here. All right. That helps. I think now we should be fine, or if we're not fine, rerolling is not going to help anyway. So let's go next. The ramen shrinking on us is not great. All right, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here, looking for a six, like this. Uh, let's keep the five. Throw the seven. Looking for a six. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I could play the lucky card. Might as well. Um, it looks like we're gonna need three straights, which is not great. All right, let's throw away the low cards here. We could pick up, uh, we're looking for a queen to complete our straight. Yeah, trying to get a queen. This card. All right, so ace, king, queen, jack, 10. That's one straight. We're gonna need more than that. All right, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ship it, and we get the money. Mm, 
Hmm. Hmm. Times 1.4 times on the ramen. That's not great. Um, what I need are some glass cards. Some enhanced cards. This uh, devious joker is not useful to us. Mars. How about before we do that, let's open this in case we get a fool. Uh, we don't get a fool, but we do get um, the hermit. You know, we could go, the steel card could be helpful, right? If we remove some cards. I think I'm gonna pick up the hermit here. That way I can reroll in the shop. Still looking for a justice card, looking for a glass card. We do level up the constellation here, which is helpful. We could pick up a flat plus 20 here, would be helpful. It'd be the same as a times 1.5. Maybe we replace the clown since the clown's perishable anyway. Acrobat. Acrobat times three on the final hand might be the thing. Okay. Um, if I do, what do I get rid of? I would get rid of probably the popcorn now. All right, go next. So the thing that's awkward about this one is once we start playing hands, then our cards will be face down, which is quite terrible. So let's discard all of these. All right, six, seven, eight, um, ten, jack, queen, huh. So once we start playing hands, then we're cooked, right? This boss is pretty stinky. Uh, we'll throw the jack here. We'll throw the seven, four. I guess we'll throw the six and the seven. Wait, keeping the, the eight, seven, six here is pretty good. Though if we have a queen, jack, 10, I guess it's the same. So we'll, I'm not gonna discard these. I'm gonna play them. If we got face down cards, we could figure out what the face down cards are. So like these things, if we sort by suit now, these are hearts probably, right? So if they're hearts, this could be either a queen or a king of hearts, which is not great. This here could be either a nine or an eight of hearts, which is also not great. So, yeah, maybe we play these. Hmm. Yeah, let's play the face down ones, just for information. So we did get the king there. Okay. So now, what is this? If I sort by suit? So this is now the nine of hearts. Okay, so we could do the nine of hearts. We could get the straight and if we get the straight we get the acrobat on the final hand so i think you know here we play these even though i know it's not a straight maybe i'm supposed to use my discard here to help me i mean what do we got so king queen jack ten nine this is also a nine i got two nines i got two tens uh, six here, I would need a seven if I want to get two straights. I think what we do is we play these and try to get the steel card. So if I sort by suit here, this is still the, the nine of hearts, right? So let's ship it. I think we're in danger. I think we're in danger here. Uh, so here's my straight. Uh, maybe we need to get lucky here. Ship it. Mm, does that count as getting lucky? Does that count as getting away with it? And we pick up banana. All right, so we don't need the bean anymore. We just pick up the banana. We could take the observatory and get a Saturn card upstairs. 
<laughs> oh man. Someone's gonna be mad. Uh, do we want a chariot or do we want a wheel? How about, let's make a steel seven. All right, we could, let's just go for the money and reroll one time. All right, this stuff we don't need. We do have, we do have the seed money, right? So we wanna save up to $50, but we do have like a couple rounds to figure it out. All cards debuffed until one Joker sold. Yeah, we could probably figure that out. Probably the ramen is on its way out. We could take a skip here for a negative if we want, maybe. Jupiter again. Maybe we're supposed to hold the strength card to ensure that we get our straight. Let's go next. All right. With the help now, now we have the banana. Let's take the skip here so that we can try to get another Joker sticker. Or maybe we get something that we can sell to the boss. All right. Uh, I have these, so let's discard eight, seven, six, five, four. There we go, we have the straight. So if we want, we can just play some hands for the acrobat. Yeah. All right, nine, let's play the pair of fours. Uh, we do pick up the seven here. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Ship it. Yeah, you know, you just do that. A million points, no problem. Alright, Greedy Joker. I don't know, do we have that one already? Uh, we do get several Arcana packs here. All right, Fool for a Jupiter card. Mm, I'd rather get the Hangman, so... Yeah, let's remove the low cards here and use the Fool to do it again. Open up the next pack. We got a Fool for another Hangman if I want it, or I could get a Justice card. That way I guarantee that I have the scoring. Um, yeah, how about let's make a nine, glass nine. All right, then we can go uh, pick up the obser observatory, why not? Why shouldn't it work? By the way, do we need the sticker on the greedy joker? We do, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, let's go Neptune first, hermit after in case we get a fool. Spin the wheel. Um, do I want to replace my ramen with the gelato? Wait, we're going to sell the joker anyway. What joker are we going to sell? All right, fool for another wheel. I'm going to hold this for a planet card just in case. So, uh, yeah. Uranus is okay. Pluto is okay. question um you know ramen we we already have the ramen sticker pretty sure pretty sure we got the ramen sticker let's uh investigate so we got ramen we got what's the other one we got throwback and consolation hmm We have the Acrobat, we have, where's Throwback? Throwback is, there he is. Throwback we have, Constellation probably we have. I guess I'm not getting rid of the Constellation anyway. Anyway, I got, I got all of these. So maybe I wanna pick up a Sly Joker. That's the one that I don't have here instead of this Ramen. That way I don't feel as bad when I start discarding cards. I think that's correct. For me, that's correct. Greedy Joker we can get. 
another time. If we can sell to the boss. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, we probably, probably we don't need the glass card. Probably we don't need the enhanced cards, right? So we don't need to sell anything if we don't want to. Three hundred and sixty thousand. All right, let's go. Let's not sell anything. That's the classic. Um, let's go for a nine, possibly. All right, try again. Either a nine or an ace. There, we got the ace. We got the straight. Um, we'll just move on until the final hand here. That way, we get the acrobat value. Ship it. And here's the ace, king, queen, jack, 10, level 37 straights. Here we go. We got a nice amount of points there. Yeah, so, you know, I'll be honest, you know, not that many new stickers. The only new stickers we got were the greedy joker because that was free, it was negative. We got the Technically, we got the Sly Joker. That was a new one that we didn't already have the gold sticker on. But, uh, you know, here, just concerned with survival, to be honest, rather than trying to get fancy with the stickers. Um, I felt like, you know, with this run on the Nebula deck, it was a lot harder. It was a lot harder to get off the ground. And I'm not sure exactly why that is yet. So I think, you know, with the other runs that we did, I think we got really lucky starts pretty much. You know, like the first two runs that we did on the gold stakes, we got the, the riffraff for the both of those, like that's huge. Um, we got the blue seal in another run on the green deck, I think. And so, okay, we got really lucky on those and had like pretty powerful scaling. Whereas here, we didn't have purple seals, blue seals, those types of technology. I think mostly what it comes down to is we didn't have a lot of enhanced cards from tarot, right? We didn't have a lot of glass cards. We didn't have a lot of steel cards, except for just the two steel cards at the end, which we ended up not needing. And so we were kind of struggling along needing a lot of X molt from our jokers, which we did get. We did get a lot of X molt, but you know, we needed that much. It was that much of a struggle. And so I think, you know, the telescope is maybe not what it used to be. It used to be in the demo season, the first demo, every shop had a an Arcana pack and a Celestial pack. So every shop, Celestial pack. Uh, sometimes you would get a Spectral pack, but it'd be rare. It's like 10% chance to get a Spectral pack, but every shop, Celestial pack. And now that we have standard packs and we have buffoon packs, you have half as many Celestial packs so the telescope is doing a lot less work than it was before. And so I think the Nebula deck, the minus one consumable slot was balanced around this past version. You know, it's been a whole year now since the Nebula deck has been designed and a lot has changed in that year. And I think the Nebula deck needs a buff. I think at the minimum, the minus one consumable slot needs to be released so that, you know, you can use tarot cards somewhat reasonably on the Nebula deck um, or, you know, some other kind of buff straight up not just remove the uh drawback but rem give it an actual buff you know the magic deck has the crystal ball and you get the fools um all of these other decks you get some you know equal to like a voucher kind of value right and so with the nebula deck you get telescope and what is the and i don't know yet but i would like to see a major buff to the nebula deck um, the last time we did the gold stakes, it was pretty miserable on the Nebula deck because, you know, even though you had the telescope, when you had the minus one hand size, you couldn't play reasonable poker hands anyway, and so you weren't getting any value from your telescope. When you had the increasing cost booster packs, you couldn't afford these celestial packs anyway. So definitely the Nebula deck feels better than it did before. It still needs some work. All right. Take care, everyone.